I'm gonna show you everything that I drink, everything that I eat, and I'm also gonna show you some of my workouts as well. All right guys, first thing that I do in the morning is I get some lemon water. So I take a lemon, chop it in half, take my lemon squeezer, get some, a glass, work those forearms, squeeze all that lemon juice in there. And if you don't have one of these contraptions, all you have to do, take that, squeeze, squeeze, Get all that lemon juice out, get some water, and there we go. Cheers. I don't normally chug that, sip on it, but I have that before I have anything else in the day. This is when I have my coconut oil coffee, so I already have a teaspoon of instant coffee in there I use for my protein. Then I take the boiling water, add it to the cup. Set that aside. Then I use stevia, I use liquid stevia drops for flavor. I do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight drops. Next up, coconut oil. I usually I say it's it's approximately a tablespoon to a tablespoon and a half of coconut oil gets put in there right like that put that in there so it melts off the spoon now that the coconut oil coffee is in the cup we put it into the blender and this is the key part so it gets smooth and creamy you can drink it without the blender but this really makes it Thicken up and uh, taste just delicious. So let me just wash this off onto the top, blend into the cup. Look how creamy, smooth, and delicious that is. And it's also a perfect pour. Good morning. Do this before I eat anything. So first is the lemon water. First thing in the morning. 10 minutes after that is I have a coconut oil coffee. Then I make myself a green drink. So this is what I do. So also I should mention I have two of these a day. Basically fill that up first thing in the morning and then I use that to make my smoothies, protein shakes, and green drinks. So I just added a cup of water in there. Then I'm going to add my greens powder to the mix. Then I have my glutamine. So I put, glutamine is really good for digestion. So I put in uh, 10 grams of glutamine in the morning. And I'm not saying you can you put this amount, amount in or you need to use these, but this is just what I like to do to really start my day. And that is that. Put the top on, blend these bad boy up. you go so if you have like a greens powder like athletic greens you don't need to add in all this other stuff pour that sucker in there and there you go cheers to the green drinks ah, taste delicious it's gonna be even more delicious for your body and it is breakfast time or I guess meal number one of the day uh, so I, like I said, I drink the lemon water, the coconut oil coffee, and my green drink first, and then I put together some breakfast. So as you can see right here, I got some eggs down first in some coconut oil to make a base, and then I have some salsa down, got some arugula on there as well, and then I had some pre-cooked ground beef that was cooked in a marinara sauce from dinner last night. Some onions, some garlic in there as well, but this is already pretty much put together. All you have to do is cook the egg and then throw the ingredients on top, and that right there is the first meal that I eat in the day, and it's usually around 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock-ish that I get that meal into me. So. That's meal number one. This is actually similar to like what a pre-workout meal would be, but I can also have this as a nighttime snack. And I showed you guys this on Facebook a little while ago. This one is like a cereal with no grains. So I have some egg whites 
here that I just cooked over uh, some lower, low to mid, mid heat with some coconut oil spray in it. And you can try this with whole eggs as well. I love whole eggs, but I just, for some reason, I just use the egg whites for this because it's quick and simple. Uh, in this bowl here, I have some one mashed banana. So I just put a banana in there, mash it up with my fork. And now you're gonna add the egg whites to the banana. And this may seem weird, but trust me guys, this is delicious. Add that in there, mix that up a little bit. Just a little bit. All right. Now we're gonna add a shot of cinnamon. Help, Let's help make it taste delicious. And I'm just eyeballing the ingredients here because it's all healthy ingredients like I always talk about. So there you go, cinnamon's in. Let's take a tablespoon of coconut flour. That should be good. If you don't have coconut flour, you can just add shredded coconut in there as well. Uh, let's add in a tablespoon of almond flour. And if you don't have almond flour, you can just take some almonds and finely crush them up or just put almonds. And last, let's stir that up first. Make sure all the flour from the coconut and the almonds getting blended together. Oh, buddy! And last, but well, certainly not least, blueberries. So I got us some frozen blueberries, but you can also use fresh blueberries. This will turn your egg whites like purplish, but it's all good because it doesn't have to look awesome to taste awesome. There you go, guys. This is what I will have pre-workout sometimes, so I'm gonna go for a workout in about two hours. So I will eat this let it digest in my stomach, or this is also something that I would make as a nighttime snack. High in protein, good source of healthy fats, lower in carbohydrates. Let's get it. Mm. Every time, freaking delicious. Mm. All right, so stay tuned for the next video. I'm gonna show you my uh, post-workout protein shake. Then we're going to the gym. Let's go. All right, what's up guys? It is post-workout time to make my shake. So I actually haven't done the workout yet, but I do bring a shake with me in a shaker cup. So what I do is take my water jug, put a cup of water into the blender. What I also have here is I use some frozen post-workout fruit. What I'm using today is a blend of mango, pineapple, and whole strawberries. You could also add a banana in there, but I already had a banana today, as you saw in an earlier video. So that's probably about a cup right there. So that's one of my carb sources. Also put in about a tablespoon of maple syrup. So that's another fast acting sugar source that's gonna help shuttle the amino acids into my muscles post-workout. Uh, for my post-workout protein shake, this is a whey isolate. Uh, no artificial sweeteners in there. So I'm gonna go with a scoop of that into the blender. And then a couple other supplements I like to add post-workout. Really, it's optional, but I'm using uh, leucine from my protein, so I'll put a scoop of that in. So leucine is one of, is the most essential amino acid for building muscle. So I add that into my shake, and then creatine as well. Since I am in a strength phase right now with my program, I am doing um, creatine. So I'll go with another five grams of that. We'll blend this guy up. Oh! Here, put it in the shaker cup. I'm gonna add some ice cubes to this as well. So I basically just take a handful of ice cubes into the shaker cup to keep it cool until after my workout. Put the lid on. Boom, done. There is my post workout shake. Put that in the gym locker and then we're good to go. Now I'm gonna make my pre-workout shake. So I'm gonna add another cup of water in there. And for pre-workout, we are going with a new product that I just got from Onnit as well called T Plus. Now this is free of artificial sweeteners, um, no caffeine as well. So 
we're gonna, you know, I'm gonna talk about that. I'm gonna do an upcoming review on the Lean TV for this product as well. But we're gonna add a scoop. So if you like no caffeine pre-workouts, no jitters, this guy is your guy, but it doesn't affect me. So I'm actually gonna um, add some, or take some caffeine before the workout as well. I like to put in that taurine from my protein. And then carnitine as well. And then lastly, I'm gonna throw in, even though the uh, T3 has some BCAs in it, I'm gonna throw in another five grams of BCAs. You know what guys, these supplements, they're not essential, but they do help when you got your diet and your workouts are tough. So my diet's, on, my diet's in check, my workouts are tough. So these supplements here help me get more performance out of the gym and help me recover faster. On the blender, put that bad boy right there in my shaker cup and I will drink this on the way to the gym. And I'm also going to have some caffeine as well. So I'll put a link to the caffeine that I take down below. What's up guys? Just finished leg day. Just doing some foam rolling right now. It was a tough day. As I mentioned, I'm putting together a new program for you guys. So I'm testing it out. Let me show you what I got here. In my notepad, I always recommend you guys track your workouts. We got, today was barbell deadlifts and superset that with box jumps for A1, B2, or A1, A2. And I did 300 by four reps, superset of that with four box jumps, five sets. And then we went down to the B1, B2 series and I did dumbbell forward lunges, four reps per leg, and then I superset of that with jump, lunge, butt kickers. Sexy, I know, but like I said, Oh, I'm sweating like crazy right now because it kicked my butt. Oh, but that was today's workout. And so this is a strength building style workout. So we're going based on percentages. So essentially I was hitting, I got hit a 300 pound deadlift, which is right around 80% of my one rep max. And then for dumbbell forward lunges, I was doing 70 pound dumbbells. And that's right around about 80% my one rep max. And then the A2 and B2 were plyometric to really, you know, throw some explosive work in there. So overall, awesome workout. It took about 50 minutes and you can see the sweat coming down. So I'm gonna finish up rolling out here and then it's back home for post-workout shake in the car and then post-workout meal once we get home. And this is my post-workout meal. So it's been about an hour since I had my post-workout shake, but now it's time to get in some protein and some carbohydrates and some fiber and some real whole food nutrients. So this is what we're having right here. It's a big ass salad with some chicken on top and some sweet potatoes. And then I got my jug of water here as well. This is going on my second jug, so I'll finish that and then that'll be my water consumption for the day. Let's take a closer look at this salad. We, what do we have in here? We got sweet potatoes, we got chicken, so there's about a chicken breast on there. I got spiced up with some thyme, some salt, some pepper, celery, there's some eggs. Boo, hook me up with the salad. What else you put in there, boo? Parsley, tomatoes, onions. Parsley, tomatoes, onions. Hard boiled eggs, sunflower seeds. And then over here we have some chicken left over, so we'll have that again tomorrow. So that's what you do, guys. You kind of cook in bulk, and then you just put it on a plate you eat. If you work, put it in some Tupperware. Take it to work with you. There's ways that you can do this. This stops you from eating out for lunch at crappy restaurants like Subway, McDonald's, and everywhere else. Cook your food in bulk, take it with you, and you got your gains. All right, guys, last meal of the day. We're out here like with family. I want to show you what I got. We're at, what's this place called again? Life Kitchen. Life Kitchen. And I ordered baked salmon, some broccoli, some onions. It just shows you that you can get decent food, whole foods, out while you're eating at a restaurant. So that is it. And then, of course, some water. Enjoy.